The Canadian Mining Certification Program, developed by the Mining Industry Human Resources Council, is the cornerstone of the mining industry's efforts to recognize the skills, knowledge, and experience of mining workers. The skills shortage, a combination of retirement, industry growth, and challenges in attracting new workers, is one of the most significant risks threatening the Canadian mining industry today. In fact, even under a conservative growth scenario, the Mining Industry Human Resources Council estimates the need for 100,000 new workers over the course of the next decade. Approximately 20% of these workers are in undesignated occupations such as underground miners, minerals processing operators, surface miners and diamond drillers. Until now, the lack of a skills recognition program has led to a turnover rate amongst these workers that is twice as high as the average in all occupations in mining. Mines open and mines close. They have an, a, a finite lifespan and uh, we have always said that uh, one of the problems with being an operator as opposed to a certified tradesman is that when a mine closes and we move on to the next mine, we have to start at the bottom, prove ourselves and work our way up through the labour pool and, and go through all the different company training programs to get uh, perhaps close to a position that we were at before. Je n'avais jamais rien pour amener avec moi pour prouver ce que j'avais fait durant ma vie. I think a certification uh, program uh, would have been a very good idea uh, as I moved around from place to place because the skills I learned at one place were not always readily apparent to my new employer. The worker certification program is the first of its kind for Canada's mining industry. It assesses the skills of mining industry workers and provides these workers with credentials based on their experience and skill levels. As a national representative of organized labor, I saw that workers uh, weren't being recognized for the uh, skills that they had developed. And I certainly heard from the shop floor that they wanted that recognition. Yeah, once I heard about the certification program, I said yes right away. Recognition is something I've heard about a lot in my life because my father and my uncle have both been in processing for 30 plus years. So for something like that to actually happen is a really good thing. Created by industry for industry, the program is founded on a set of national occupational standards. Canada is a rich mining country, but our most important resource is our people. And having the right people with the right experience and the right skills is critical to the future of our industry. Credentials earned through the certification program provide employers with a valuable tool with which to verify the skills of workers coming from different regions of Canada. Nobody knows you when you're moving around from site to site. You know, they just know your name, they get a, a resume. With a resume, it's their word that I have to take that they are competent in that position. So when they come in, I still have to assess them to make sure that they are able to do the position that they're asking for and the position that I need to get them into. So it's gonna cost me time, it's gonna cost me training, it's gonna cost me effort in order to get them up to the point where I need them to be. What this program does is it, it, it provides information to the people recruiting those employees as to what types of skills and capabilities these people have. So if they have a level one or level two certification, the, the people hiring those folks know exactly what standards, what occupational standards they've met to qualify for level two certification. Having this passport national recognition level one, level two, um, there, there's no question as to the skills this person has. It lowers the risk as an employer. It, um, it clarifies what training I need to do as an employer, which, which helps me um, understand the costs I'm going to have. Uh, so there's lots of benefits from, from that point of view. As contractors who work in various provinces, it allows us to transport the skills of a miner from Ontario to Manitoba or from Manitoba to British Columbia or to Nunavut. So this is the only program that we're aware of that is able to do that for us. Je pense que c'est un gros plus pour l'industrie parce que la personne doit toujours chercher à s'améliorer au lieu de rester à la même place. Looking at my skills passport made me realize how much was out there in the mining industry and it gives me something to look forward to, to strive to, to always be bettering myself and always learning. This program was developed in response to industry demand for nationally recognized credentials for mining, something that is long overdue. 
We're in a very competitive labor market. We're competing with other industries. Recognition of skills, the message it sends to new young people. You come into the mining industry, there's a career path. Your skills will be recognized. This will help us attract new young people into the industry, new Canadians, Aboriginal people. Uh, these are the kind of folks we've got to encourage to join us so that we can continue to run and operate our mines and mills efficiently and effectively in the future. There'll be concerns about, well, if people become certified, will they move on? We found recently that two of the most important reasons for people leaving us are uh, a lack of training and development and lack of career opportunities. Offering this type of certification makes jobs in the mining industry much more attractive. Well, I'm glad that for all the hard work I've done over the years that all of a sudden, boom, oh, you are going to be recognized. That makes you feel good. Certification is something both employers and workers have been waiting for. In consultation with the members of the Mining Association of Canada, certification of mine workers was seen as a critical component of a human resources strategy, critical to our workforce and to the future competitiveness of our industry. I think it's a win-win-win. There's no doubt about that in my mind. It's something that's been lacking in the industry for many years. The employees uh, obviously love it. They're going to be recognized. Even a guy at the end of his career is going to be able to hang it on the wall and his children be able to say, here's you know, something as, as a result of my 30 or 40 years in the mining industry. J'ai toujours été, en étant mineur, fier d'être mineur. Je dirais à la personne qui me dit que je ne suis pas compétent, que ce n'est pas vrai. Car dans mon métier, ça prend des compétences et des habilités pour pouvoir rentrer de la même manière que tu rentres le matin et sortir de la même manière que tu sors le matin. En plus de ça, je peux sortir de mon portefeuille une carte, un passeport pour lui démontrer tout à fait le contraire. The engineers have the, the iron ring that they put on their little finger. This program provides the lapel pin that certifies or recognizes what the people have achieved in terms of demonstrating that they've met the occupational standards. So finally, we have a program in our industry that recognizes the experience and capability that these people have acquired over many years of experience in our mines. The Canadian Mining Certification Program will play a key role in increasing, recognizing, developing, and retaining the important skills required by the mining industry today. For workers, this is a credential to support their entire career. And for employers, this is a program that will support the future competitiveness of our industry. I feel proud of the fact that I will have a, a card that recognizes me as an underground hard rock miner. This is what I can do. This is what I have uh, proven I can do. It proves what you know. This is it. <laughs>